All right, well, segueing now into actual <laughs> sports, Harry Chickman is up next. We're talking basketball. Coming up in sports, the Knicks have lost four in a row, and they are winless this season when Carmelo Anthony is not in the lineup. So what's Melo's status for tonight's game with Phoenix? That's coming up when News for New York at 6 continues. Get Fios. Welcome back. Harry Chickman joining us now with sports. A couple of basketball games tonight. Busy night in basketball. The Knicks and Nets both in action tonight. The Nets are in Dallas. The Knicks will host the Suns at the Garden. The struggling Knicks have lost four straight, and last night they fell to the Raptors in Toronto, but they were shorthanded playing without Carmelo Anthony and Chris Stapps Porzingis. Melo is still dealing with a sore knee, which forced him to miss the past two games. Meanwhile, Porzingis sat out last night with an upper respiratory illness. Some good news, though, for the Knicks. Carmelo Melo and Porzingis are expected to be back in the starting lineup tonight. And believe it or not, spring training less than three weeks away. And unlike the Mets, the Yankees didn't make any big moves in free agency during the offseason. But they did trade for one of the best closers in baseball, Araldis Chapman. And last night, Bruce Beck spoke with the Yankees manager, Joe Girardi, to talk about the upcoming season. What does it mean to have Chapman as the closer, and do you feel like he will be a player for the Yankees within the first 40 or 50 games? Well, I mean, that remains to be seen. That's up to Major League Baseball. But I think we have three guys that are capable of closing, and it gives me a lot of different options. If a guy needs a day off, if a guy has, happens to go down for a couple of weeks, um, like a Miller, our bullpen will continue to be strong. The Super Bowl is still nine days away. The Panthers and Broncos will meet next Sunday in Santa Clara. The teams head to California this weekend. And today in Charlotte, thousands of Panthers fans came out to wish their team good luck. Players and coaches thank the fans for their support. And linebacker Thomas Davis was among those who fired up the crowd. Davis plans to play in the big game despite undergoing surgery on Monday to repair a broken arm. The 15 and 1 Panthers are the favorites heading into Super Bowl 50. Meanwhile, the the Broncos spent the day on the practice field. Denver back in the Super Bowl for the second time in three years. Quarterback Peyton Manning is making his fourth trip to the big game, and he has one championship with the Colts. There's a lot of speculation that the 39-year-old Manning could be playing in his final game. When Manning takes the field next week, he will be the oldest quarterback ever to start a Super Bowl. At the Australian Open, it's Serena Williams and Angelique Kerber in the women's final. Serena going for her seventh Aussie title and her 22nd major championship, which would tie Steffi Graf for the most in the Open era. Meanwhile, the action will be underway at 3.30 tomorrow morning. And Andy Murray will face Novak Djokovic on Sunday morning in the men's final. Last night in the semifinals, Murray had to rally in the fourth and fifth sets against Canadian star Milos Raonic. The match lasted four grueling hours, and it will be Murray's fifth trip to the finals. He has never won an Australian Open title. So best of luck to him, also Djokovic, and of course Serena Williams representing America. Very good. Harry, thank you. All right, Harry, coming up next on NBC Nightly News, new details about that jailbreak in California. One of the inmates has been captured, and a woman who teaches at that jail stands accused of aiding in the escape. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you back here at 11. Have a great night.